Hey, if you like anime, you got to come join us at the Goosh, our Patreon. Link is in the description. And even if you don't like anime and you just want to support the channel, come on over and join us at the Goosh. Won't be creepy at all. Okay, guys, here we go with another Family Guy. Try not to laugh. Um, Real quick, uh, just briefly before we get into this, I know a lot of you guys that come over to the Goosh, our Patreon, and, you know, catch up on what's going on, take a month or two off, come back. I just want to give you guys an update. They finally gave us the opportunity to where, you know, when you join the Patreon, like uh, this time of the month, yeah, this time of the month, whenever someone would ask me about the Goosh, I would say, wait until the first, because if you join today, they'll charge you today, and then they charge again on the first, and then you renew on the first of every month. They've allowed me to change that. So if you, whatever day you join the Goosh, that's when you'll renew. So you always get a full month if you join up. So in other words, if you join today, what is it, 27th, then it'll renew the 27th of next month, not the first of the following month, if that makes sense. Just so you guys know, because um, again, we have a lot of people that come in and out, and I think that's a way, way better and more fair system for you guys. Okay, this is the best of, <laughs> best of Stewie killing Lois from Portuguese. He's got several parts to this. I think these will be fun. This is old school, back when, when Stewie was all about, you know, kill the mama. That was the probably the thing that caught, was the cornerstone of the show earliest on for me were, were these escapades. So I'm anxious to do this. Let's go watch me fail. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Farewell, Brian. I'm off to sea. An hour from now, I'll be surrounded by semen. Sperm whales and semen. Ooh, a swallow. Stewie, Peter and Lois are... <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen that before. Not in the clips in the show itself. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you guys know I love stupid things like that. Just <laughs> just the moronic double entendres and stuff. That's always going to get... Oh, a swallow. <laughs> Aren't taking you with them. Sperm They've whales. <laughs> Love this show. Bye. Bye. I remember this one. Bye. 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 Didn't he start throwing people? Yeah, he started throwing people. Teach that hussy to go on a boat ride without me. When she returns, I'm going to put bamboo <clears throat> splinters under all her fingernails. Then I'm going to strip her down and tie her to the bed. Okay. Then I'm going to make her crawl on her hands and knees while I drip hot candle wax all over her back. Uh, and then what are you going to do? <laughs> Fucking Brian. Ah, these are going to ruin me. Brian's such, he's such a douchebag. And, and a perv, too. Can't come down on him too hard for the perv thing, but douchebag I can. Uh, let's see. Are you going to shower her off after all that candle wax? No, I'm going to keep her filthy. Yeah, she's been a bad girl. And then I'm going to gag her with her own brassiere. Oh, oh, yeah, what? look at him. No, no, nothing, nothing. That's, that's all part of your diabolical plan to humiliate her. Yes, yes, she'll be humiliated. <laughs> He's such a scumbag. He really is. I, <laughs> it's funny that Brian can be such a central part of the show and so important to the show, and yet I just can't stand him. Maybe you'll handcuff her. She'll hate that. Then I shall do that as well. And call her a bitch. Until I'm hoarse with rage. Maybe smack her ass with a riding crop. Yes, and it... What? What? No, I mean, that, that, that would, like... That, that would show her. Are you... You're getting some kind of sick sexual <laughs> thrill off this, aren't you? Who cares? <laughs> I'm even making weird sounds. I already laughed at this segment. I'm still trying to fight it. <laughs> and, uh, I like slow, Stewie's slow realization that Brian's just enjoying this a little too much. You're not going to kill her anyway. You're going to bitch and moan, and then you're going to do what you always do. The minute Lois walks through that door, you're going to forget all about it, beg for your apple juice, go poop and fall asleep. Go, I did it! Go poop and fall asleep. That that's that's the cornerstone of my life now. I killed her. She's dead. <laughs> I love this part. <laughs> that's good. I love this part. Mommy, mommy. mommy. Oh yeah. Mommy. Oh yeah. That's right. <laughs> the first time I saw that on the show, I laughed like a freaking mental patient too. Not surprisingly. <laughs> mommy, mommy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bummer. Freaking reality. I had another date. You know, I'm <clears throat> glad you're finally putting yourself out there. Lois would have wanted you to move on. Yeah, only this one was kind of awkward. My date was a stick figure. So, I, how would this work in, in bed? Well, I can't do sex, but I can give you a stick job. That, uh, that sounds... Yes, it is very unpleasant. Are we sure it's unpleasant? 
Do any of you guys know a, a stick figure who's into those things? Because I'll try it out and report back to you guys. But the freakiest was that date I had with Barney. Peter, you don't know how badly I need this. Hey, I don't know, Barney. It's it's just a little weird. Joe's a friend of mine. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. Oh, boy. Oh, on top of everything else, Joe gets cucked. Oh, of course. But what? <laughs> it's Joe Swanson. Why, why would we expect anything different? Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Chris I'm dating. Peter, Lois has been dead for a whole year. You're going to have to tell him sometime. Shh, 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 shh. Hi, Dad. Did we get any mail from Mom at the health spa today? Nope. Sorry, Chris. She said she's going straight from the spa right back to Europe. But I haven't seen Mom since she took me back to school shopping. All right, sweetie. You ready? To <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Cause if you're gonna if you're gonna have somebody pretend to be Lois, who <laughs> who would be the most obvious choice? But Joe, you get some new notebooks, the wheelchair, and yeah. and slacks. the big manly jeans. shoulders. You're getting slacks. No matter what it takes, you are gonna pay for this. Ooh. you know it's funny. From this position, I can hear Meg upstairs. Uh oh. I'm gonna pretend you're the uh, New York. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> I remember that one too. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna pretend you're the New York Knicks is one of the most the more messed up lines in the history of this show. <laughs> I know that you had life insurance on Lois. Did you get that right before the cruise? Oh, Actually shit. I got it on the cruise. Right after we had that big fight when I said I wish you were dead, right before I never saw her again. Well, see you guys later. I gotta go buy hot. Nothing dogs. suspicious about that. Out for some reason. No. Oh. oh. Nothing suspicious about that at all. Stick. I'm completely off the hook. <sighs> what the hell? Hey, little man, tell Chris to open his window. <laughs> Sick old bastard. <laughs> He's such a creepy fuck. <laughs> and nothing. Never really see him get his come up. It's even in that fight against the other old guy from the war veteran thing. He ended up winning, didn't he? I'm trying to remember how that fight went. He just never gets. <laughs> Herbert never gets what he. Let's say what he needs. Joe, what what the hell is he going actually on? needs, not You're what he thinks he needs. You're suspect in Lois's murder. That's what's going on. Don't make us go good cop, developmentally disabled cop. Oh again. no. Um, we know that um you um killed Lois. Um, hi. Uh, no. We can, um. This is just, that's just terrible. Oh, man, that's awful. Put you at the, um, scene See, where look. she, um, was, um, killed. Obi's right, Peter. It doesn't look good for you. Hey, Dad. Oh, that was, that was just brutal. Oh, man. Dad, if they put you in jail, can we go in your room? Look, don't you kids buy any of this for a second. Your father is innocent. Oh, he killed her. Just like the telephone killed the telegraph sex business. Hey, Ooh. baby, I bet you're hot. Stop. Describe to me what you're doing to yourself right now. Stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, nasty. Awesome. Oh, nasty. Oh, <laughs> nasty. Hey, you, what, <laughs> you take whatever means are necessary. Pre-digital means are necessary. <laughs> Judah, call your first witness. Peter called me right after he killed my daughter <sighs> to tell me he killed my daughter. Really? Well, that is interesting. Yes, and as a favor to the court, I've produced this simulation of how the killing transpired. I play Peter, and I hired an Asian hooker to play my daughter. Oh, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be cinematic beauty here, isn't it? Oh. oh, oh. Oh. Lois, I'm fat Carter. and stupid, and I fart at times that ruin my father-in-law's social occasions, and that's why I'm never invited to them. You pay me now! <laughs> oh. That looked real. Huh. wonder what kind of CGI Carter used. Mr. Griffin, do you drink? I played the fifth of Jack. <laughs> no, uh. I'm joking. Yes, I drink. And have you ever struck your wife? 
Only in front of the kids to assert my status as dominant male of the pride. <laughs> what the fuck? Only in front of the kids. Jesus Christ. Are you a violent man? <laughs> are you a wise guy? Oh, yeah, I knew that was... Yeah, with wise, with wise guys. No questions. You son of a bitch. If I had a gun on a boat, I'd shoot you. <laughs> 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 That's not telling at all. Listen, I I think from everything we've seen of the trial so far, I think there's little doubt that Peter <laughs> is 100% innocent. I mean, how how could anyone gather any semblance of guilt from that? <laughs> Just a good dude.